Hey, good morning. It's February 8, 10.56 a.m. Thought I'd read my Chinese horoscope. How's that? <laughs> Let me see. I'm an earth rooster from the uh, year I was born. I'm between uh, February 17, 1969 to February 5, 1970. All right. Let me show you. Hold on. All right. This is a visit for people in general. The two or three people who might be looking at me, I seem to get about 10 views for all these little video snippets, these journal entries. I just want to say, uh, you know, it's it's not a bad, you know, morning. It's not unmanageable. And uh, I'm going to continue to keep talking until I can come up with a better idea to do something else about my life over here but I'd rather not get upset so earth rooster horoscope I thought I'd look that up today because it's the year of the tiger Chinese New Year well what does that mean to a guy who's not a tiger uh, horoscope what does that really mean well it means in, in this uh, forum the earth rooster the rooster is often seen as the original strong silent type not unlike the Humphrey Bogart and Greta Garbo prototypes. Most people consider them quite eccentric. Sad to say, relationships with other people are often strained. They are quite moody, and they can be too outspoken. They are often self-centered, but can be quite brave when the situation calls for it. On the other hand, rooster people are quite talented and capable. They are always devoted to their work and have a reputation for being the hardest of workers. Rooster people, capital R, capital P, are deep thinkers and are pioneers in spirit. They can experience the greatest of joy in complete solitude. Even though often alone, they rarely experience loneliness. Instead, they enjoy their own company and feel solitude helps them in their quest after knowledge. It says, shark tail soup and fortune cookies are among the keys to good health. The earth rooster epitomizes the very essence of one of Robert Browning's most popular poems. Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. I gotta say, this is right off the, you know, what, what they wrote here. Despite early adversity and rough times, their philosophical bent has led them to expect and therefore to achieve the good life. They have a very analytical way of looking at problems, and they can pierce the most daunting of tasks with utmost efficiency. With a saint-like patience, they are consistent in everything they do and always answer to their own counsel, which hasn't failed them yet. As a result, their careers are forever anchored in smooth sailing, and as life passes, they will know peace, abundance, and complete fulfillment. The same goes for their love life. There are difficulties at the very beginning, but as time goes by, they understand each other perfectly and receive the best love has to offer. The best in quotation marks. The best that love has to offer. Famous rooster people, it says here, are Suharto, Suharto, Deborah Kerr, Peter Ustinov, D.H. Lawrence, John Glenn, Emperor Akihito, Yoko Ono, Eudora Welty, and Bette Midler. Bette Midler with the wind beneath their wings there. All right, that was, that was I thought was interesting, uh, interesting. Public, you know, public interest, interest of a, like a human thing. 
I was looking at uh, videos uh, on YouTube that I had saved in their CNN special reports. Uh, Chris Benoit, the wrestler, WWE wrestler, who uh, was had a tragic uh, end with his the way he, uh, steroid uh, use uh, and his uh, the homicides and suicides that he. I, I was like, wow, six part series, uh, you know, seven eight minute an hour. Uh, special on CNN that was broadcast when the incident occurred. I just saw it this morning with my breakfast, my coffee. And I'm going to say, uh, you know, there's so many prescription and legal drugs and there's so many things happening on earth, period, at all. You know, you don't know who's going to do what Santa, next year ever. Not to go overly paranoid, but you just don't know. You don't know. And and as far as being judged just solely on your past history and everything, you know what? It has nothing to do with who you are going to turn into. You know, there's the Wolfman coming out next week. Uh, Benicio uh, Del Toro and uh, Anthony Hopkins, the new Universal movie. I'm going to be there. I'm going to check out the CGI. But, you know, it's a theme that, uh, you know, there's vampire werewolves and, and zombies, oh my. You know, I was just watching... Uh, Clive Barker DVD I've got over the weekend. I went to Blockbuster, got a few previously viewed, uh, you know, three for twenty. Uh, you know, great movies. I feel stupid spending twenty dollars to the point where I thought uh, I was committing a crime. I thought I was physically acting like I felt to my mind because I've been so tight with money the past two three weeks, without any money in the bank and trying not to spend my credit card, uh, you know, amounts uh, for anything. That uh, I was in Blockbuster this weekend thinking $20 was like buying, I was buying uh, drugs. Just buying a, v, a DVD. That's how I felt. Uh, let me let me pause this for a part two so I don't have to re-edit this on the movie uh, maker. And, and have to wait for that to upload in, into my, my videos to put on the YouTube. Hold on.